One can't underestimate nowadays the value of recording because uh, you get to travel around the world and make recordings and also record music that's not very often performed for usually financial reasons. The cast is very large, the orchestra is very expensive, et cetera, et cetera. You get to re uh, perform a repertoire that's very little heard. But I, I have wonderful memories and unfortunately, most of the recordings I've made that I really love are made with people that are no longer around, like Bruno Walter, Dr. Walter taught me, I think, nearly everything I know about Mahler, at least stylistically speaking. He didn't say actually much, but you learn so much from him spiritually, rather like uh, Pablo Casals. You, you kind of breathe in the same air and feel the same thoughts at the same time. But I did uh, the Song of the Earth, Lied van der Erde, with Fritz Reiner. People sort of typecast me and think of me rather as a Brahms, Handel, Bach, type of singer, maybe leader singer, but I like to do some offbeat things. I even made a crazy record. One day we were fooling around in Vienna and uh, we had some of the opera musicians who said, let's make a kind of silly record, a spoof on Mozart. And uh, it was a kind of, you know, the, the Swingle Singer's famous record had just come out and everybody was sort of playing around with music. And I did a kind of um, scat thing, uh, thing of singing uh, uh, one of the, I think, uh, preludes and uh, La Cidarem da Mano. I really don't approve, though, of some of the modern techniques where you uh, record bar, 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 because you do have perfect recordings, and they sound absolutely glorious, but I think every time you go to hear that particular artist in a concert hall, you're disappointed, because nobody is a perfectionist. And I think it was Arthur Schnabel who once said, uh, during a recording session, when the engineer came up and said, oh, hey, Dr. Schnabel, you know, there was one note that wasn't beautiful in that, and he said, ach, Gott sei Dank, I'm human, and that's the way I feel about recording. Very few people uh, realize how much physical and mental effort is behind this career, behind concert giving. Maureen is an exceptional case again because she can do a load of work that another dozen of her colleagues couldn't do in ten years and she does it in one. I remember as a very typical example last year when she was in Vienna recording an opera. She had been asked as the first person ever to give a concert in the parliament in Ottawa. And she flew in from Vienna a day before. She sang the concert and she flew back the same night to Vienna to continue her recording. Now, if uh, one realizes what it means to the body, to the vocal cords, to the mental system, to switch from one time zone to the other twice in 48 hours. And if one realizes that she not only is there as a, as a body, but she has to sing and breathe, it doesn't mean a thing to her. And on top of it all, she donated her fee to the Fund for the National Youth Orchestra and flew blithely back and went on recording in Vienna. Who else can do that? <laughs>